What is up guys? Welcome back for another episode of GOT Showcase. Today we're going to be using one of my very good friends uh, teams. We have the Hog Haluchas coached by Immortal Ments and uh, he's got probably the most offensive team in the entire league. Uh, if you just look at the members on your screen, this, this team is stupid. Uh, and we didn't even bring a Porygon Z, so we have Thunder Hysterian, um, Mama Swine, uh, Ian Shao, Mega Alakazam, Escavalier, and Kabutop. So I'm just gonna go over real quick. Uh, we have Volt Absorb, so we have an immunity here. Uh, we have Mama Swine, so we have an immunity here. They're the same immunity that they share, uh, but this is also immune to ground. We have Focus Sash Stealth Rocks. Uh, then we have another Focus Sash Inner Focus Mean Shao. This is my way to beat um, Megalopony and Mega Metacham. Uh, I also have Alakazam over here, so that's not too bad. Uh, in fact, I have Protect plus Shadow Ball and Psychic. So maybe I don't even need this. You know what? Yeah, let's ch let's change this to Regenerator, because that would actually come in handy. Uh, and we'll change this to a Life Orb. And pack Fake Out over... I feel like Poison Jab is kind of needless. Uh, fake Out. So we'll do that. That way we can get off a, uh, a fake out that's just as fast as Megalopony's uh, and faster than Metacham's and then just U-turn on out of there. I uh, might lose a, a Mon in the process, but uh, so be it. So we have this. Uh, we also have uh, Alexam, like I said, Encore, Protect, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. Assault Vest, Escavalier, this is the only thing on the team that can actually take a hit. And then I came up with a pretty cool set, uh, Air Balloon, Weak Armor, Kabutop. So basically this thing can come in on Landorus T. Uh, and set up a sword stance whenever it wants. Whenever Lando gets a kill, this comes in, sets up an SD, and can completely sweep a team because its its attack is pretty high. Uh, if Lando hits me, it just gives me a boost in uh, speed. I'm faster than Scarf Diggersby, so uh, one of the fastest Scarfers that you can run. Uh, the other would be Jirachi that, that I can think of off of the top of my head, uh, but we're not outspeeding that anyway, so I just decided to run enough speed for um, Diggersby. So this is the team. Let's see if we can get a couple of wins with it. Hopefully we can. Uh, is this still up on screen? Yeah, let's move this over here. Where's my damage calc? Let's just bring that up. All right. And uh, yeah, so right away we see a Megalopony right off the bat. So that's really good. Uh, that means that we can lead off here with Mega Alakazam on the Lopony. We'll go for a first turn protect on his fake out because he has no reason not to click it, right? And then, uh, then we can threaten a Psychic and we'll make an appropriate switch because there's no way he's staying in. He Mega Evolves, we get Limber, so not the best ability. Uh, he goes for Fake Out, we are protected. He has to switch out now, there's no way he's staying in. Uh, he's definitely going into the Bisharp or the Clefable. I don't think he'd risk his uh, Bisharp on a potential Focus, uh, focus Blast. So I'm just going to Psychic right here. Uh, if he goes into Bisharp, then kudos to him. Uh, he, had, he does go into Clefable though, that's great, we're able to get off a nice chunk of damage on that thing. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Psychic, honestly. Because um, he's probably going to soft boil, right? So yeah, let's go for Psychic. As uh, we get off some nice damage there, he's going to go for Wish. And I'm assuming the Protect is coming, so... Let's go for the... Swap out into Mamoswine, just in case he Thunder Waves as well. He does go for Protect, so that's great for us. We do have the Focus Sash online, hopefully he doesn't break it right here. Uh, we're just going to get up our rocks ASAP, as Rotom does come in. Now, I do not have a switch for this thing. Um, Hydro Pump is going to hurt something. There's nothing I can do about that. But what I can do is I can go to Mean Shao, uh, potentially take it, Fake Out, and then uh, proceed to either Knock Off or High Jump Kick. U-Turn is also an option. So let's do that. Um, he can also just Will-O-Wisp here, though. That's a little bit of a problem. Uh, he does have Levitate. That's useless. That's not something worth tracing. Uh, I feel like Alakazam can put in a lot of work this game. I just got to get rid of the uh, Bisharp. Seeing Wish on uh, Clefable makes me think that it's potentially uh, a an unaware set, which is nice because if it comes in constantly on rocks, it will be 2 hit KO'd by Alakazam, which I just clicked by accident. That's a little bit unfortunate. He is going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, though, so that's nice. And I'm assuming he's not going to want to stay in here. I'm just going to go for Encore, actually. Because he's probably just going to click an attack. So, we'll see. Good news is that I can't be paralyzed, <laughs> at the very least. Uh, I just don't like this thing being status, because Protect into Psychic is always my play against Lopany. I don't have another course of action, so... He is actually going to go into Clefable. Encore is going to fail, unfortunately. Uh, and I do see the uh, the Wish coming out here. I'm going to go into Scavalier, because it's the one thing that threatens this thing immediately. And he goes for a Moonblast, so that's absolutely perfect. 
Uh, now I do see something like uh, Rotom potentially coming out here, so I'm just gonna go for a knockoff. Uh, as Lando actually comes out, so not too bad. Able to get a decent amount of damage off on this thing, get rid of its item as well, which is a Rocky Helmet. So now I can hit this thing repeatedly without having to worry about too much damage. And now what we can do is uh, go out into Thunderous if we choose. Um, Mammoth Swine's actually not bad either, because it immediately threatens this. I definitely want to keep a Scavalier because it puts a lot of pressure on the uh, on the Clefable and the Latios if it's not HP Fire. I did say I could go into Kabutops on this thing, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to wait for that. I want to wait for my opportunity. Um, and Rotom has to be weakened for that to work. Uh, as well, I might have to turn his... Um, Turn his Sucker Punch off, like kill Bisharp completely. That might be the course of action there. So we'll go into Thunderous on this thing. I doubt he'd Stone Edge. He's going to go for the U-turn, so that's perfect. Uh, he's going to come back in on Rocks next time, so that's nice. We are Choice Scarfed, uh, so we are faster than his entire team. We also have U-turn, uh, so that ground types cannot stop us from switching out. And now that this Lando lost its Rocky Helmet, we should be good to go. So let's see what comes out here. I can totally see Lopany. Lopany is definitely an option. Um... Don't know what I'm going to do about it. I guess I'm going to have to take a fake out, but don't really have another play. <laughs> uh, and then I'll just go for a Volt Switch, because if Lando wants to come in, that's fine. I'll just, I'll pivot out on it. But yeah, uh, very offensive team. There are no switch-ins. I cannot switch into any attack. Uh, it's very, very difficult. So that is the one downside to Mensa's team, but I still think it's a very good team. That's why we ranked it in the top 16 in, uh, in power rankings. So he goes into Clefable. Um, okay. I don't have U-Turn anymore, actually. I have Thunderbolt now. Okay. All right, let's go for Volt Switch. Uh, get off a decent amount of damage on this Clefable, and uh, then we'll go back into Scavalier, because now, once again, he doesn't have anything that he can switch into comfortably on this. Uh, Lando can come in, yes. Uh, I'm just going to knock off, as he does go back into Lando and to get the, uh, the Intimidate. Uh, but that's fine, because he won't go back up to full, I don't think. Nope, he's just a little bit off. And... I didn't want to risk Rotom coming in for free on an Iron Head, uh, or a double to Mamoswine, so that's kind of why I did that. Uh, I'm going to click Knock Off again as he goes for Stealth Rocks, so those are there uh, almost to stay. We do have Kabutops. Uh, I'm going to go for Knock again. He goes for a Knock of his own, that's fine. Uh, and I'm stubborn, and stubborn players always win. <laughs> that's not true at all, guys. Don't listen to me. Uh, I am going to go for Iron Head this time. He does go for EQ, and that is actually able to knock us out. Wow. All right. So, I can take advantage of this by going into Kabutops and setting up a Swords Dance, potentially. Uh, that's an option. He does have uh, the possibility of Unaware Cleft. Did we see when it came in if it took left, if it took Stealth Rocks? Uh, sent out Clefable. It did not. Okay, so he is Magic Guard. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to that turn, but now we know. And uh, Stealth Rocks up is a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. Because our Focus Sash is broken. Uh, and I don't think it's now or never. I think we can definitely wait a little bit longer for Kabutops. Um, so we're going to go into Mammoth Swine right here, and I'm just going to, I really want to double into Thunderous right here, predicting the Rotom, but I'm taking needless damage anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. I think I'm better off just going for Icicle Crash. If his Rotom comes out, it's fine. Uh, we'll do a little bit of damage to this thing. 19%, not too much, but, uh, there's always the flinch chance. There's always the chance he misses Hydro Pump or Will-O-Wisp as well. So we can play off of that. We'll go for another Crash right here. As he goes for the Hydro Pump, connects, and goodbye Mamoswine, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But now we can go to Mean Xiao, and we can just fire off a High Jump Kick if we want to. Uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do, as we are able to knock out the Rotom. Awesome. And now there is pretty much nothing standing in the way of a Kabutops sweep. Except for Fake Out plus Sucker Punch. Those are literally the only things. Like, I, I can't see anything else that would stop me from... Yeah. Uh, well, his Clefable's a little bit healthy as well. There's that. So, Lopany comes in. There's nothing I can do to this thing. It's gonna go for a return, and it's gonna knock me out. So, uh, I gotta go for the, uh, high jump kick. He's gonna go for the return, and down goes Mean Xiao to a crit. I don't think that mattered at all. Uh, I'm gonna go into Alakazam, and we are going to... Uh, I really wanna double <laughs> into Thunderous, but at this point, I don't think it matters. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Psychic. If he wants to go into Bisharp, that's fine. He does go into Bisharp. He hasn't seen my whole set yet. Uh, I'm gonna go for the... I'm gonna go for the Protect to see what he goes for. Uh, as he goes for a Sucker Punch. And I'm going to Encore him into that. Uh, as he is locked in now. 
And now we are going to switch out into Kabutops. Keep Alakazam alive just a little bit longer. And uh, start setting up. Because this is literally all we can do. He's locked into Sucker Punch right now. We gotta take advantage of him. As he is going to switch out into Latios. So good play. Um, I have to swap out into Alakazam on this thing. I can't allow it to go for a Draco Meteor on me. I have to have him lower his own stats first. As he is going to go for the Draco Meteor. Okay, cool. So now I think we can go into Kabutops. We don't have a lot of Spadef, but I think we can take it. I'm pretty sure we can take it. Uh, we do have to deal with uh, Fake Out after, but I'm going to go for the uh, for the Swords Dance right here. I think it's my only play. Let's see what he chooses to do. He's going to swap out into Lando, actually, and uh, I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. Now, he can't hit me with Earthquake. He can only hit me with Knock Off. We are faster. Um, than his Landorus because it was a Rocky Helmet set. So I could just go for Waterfall here, honestly. And just knock him out. We still have the Air Balloon. Uh, the question is, do I knock out his Latios at the range it's at? I can't even remember what it was at. I really want to go for another Swords Dance and then just play mind games with his Bisharp. And like, stall it out of Sucker Punches <laughs> and win that way. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Swords Dance again. He's going to go for the knockoff. We are going to get the weak armor boost. Uh, minus defense plus speed. I think Lopany just knocks us out with a fake out now, but whatever. We'll go for the waterfall. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, I guess he didn't see that coming. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. Well, I mean, you just go into Bisharp and you sucker punch me, so it doesn't really make a difference. Or Lopany fake out. Like, that's you just have to come in twice with Lopany. Bisharp's going to come in. Uh, sucker Punch is obvious, uh, so I am just going to go for Swords Dance. There we go, there's the Sucker. I would have gone Lopany, man, because now he's putting himself in very, very hot water. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, Waterfall right away. As he just Sucker Punches again, okay. Alright, so he wins that war, and uh, we'll go into Thunderous, and we'll tr attempt to win with Thunderbolt Spam, but that's clearly not going to happen. Uh, sucker Punch is going to knock us out clean, so that's going to be GG. Uh, I could have continued Swords Dancing, but I don't think it was worth it. I think uh, I think the mind games were played already, and I just wanted to see if he would be if he would be coy enough to uh, click Iron Head right away. If he did, then I could have gotten two more kills, and uh, actually Thunderous could have potentially swept there because he would have had to go into Lopany, click Fake Out. It wouldn't have knocked me out because it is resisted, even with minus one defense. I would have been able to take it. He would have had to switch out, sack either Clefable or. Um, Latios, go back in the Lopany, fake out, uh, and then I would have gone into Thunderous and fired off Thunderbolts, and I might have been able to take back that game, but... Anyway, we've got a very pink squad here that we're against. It's pink and blue. Um, we have Slowbro, Chansey. I don't like that Slurpuff. It looks a little bit threatening. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta keep my Focus Sash on Mamoswine if I want to be able to beat that thing. <laughs> like, that's literally all I can do. Um, I want to lead off here with Mean Xiao because it does outspeed a vast majority of his team. Uh, gets off a free fake out, so that's always nice. Life Orb fake out, as we're able to flinch him. Uh, we do not see Leftovers. We do not see Rocky Helmet. Uh, he is Mega Slowbro. I think he's Mega Slowbro. I'm going to go for U-Turn, and uh, we're going to go straight out into uh, Thunderous, I believe. He doesn't have a ground type, so I'll be able to U-Turn on uh, Volt Switch actually on anything. He goes for Scald. It's going to do a... Whoa. Okay, is this thing Specs? 71%? Yeah, this isn't even Mega, this is just straight up Specs. I'm gonna go for Volt Switch. Chansey comes in, that's fine. Uh, what I can do is go into Mean Shao, put on the pressure immediately, uh, and I'm just gonna- I'm not even hesitating, I'm going straight for High Jump Kick, because that Slowbro is pretty low already. Uh, Tangrowth's gonna come in, it's gonna take a High Jump Kick, not very well. Uh, it is a Rocky Helmet, so we are going to take a little bit of extra damage. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm not going to get up back up to full, but I'd much rather U-turn and get off this 33% uh, right here on this Tangrowth. We're going to be coming back in at 77%, which is still decent. Uh, and I can go straight into Escavalier here. He does not have an Escavalier switch in. He goes for the knockoff. That's absolutely fine. Uh, now, I do think I do believe that Tangrowth is faster than us, always. And uh, he is Rocky Helmet, though, so I don't know if he'd have HP Fire. That's the thing. Um... Because if he does, he knocks us out now, I believe. He might not, though. He might not. Um, you know what? Let's go into Mammoth Swine, because I can't see him going for a grass move. It's one of two things. He either switches out into um, 
for example, Slurpuff or Metagross even. Uh, wow, he actually went for a Giga Drain. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks because I need them up and he doesn't have hazard removal. So Slowbro is going to come in here. It's going to allow me to get up rocks for free. I don't know if I want to stay in, to be honest with you guys, uh, because this thing still is useful. Uh, I have Ice Shard for the Slurpuff. Uh, as well as the tank growth. I have Earthquake for Metagross and uh, Chansey. But I don't know what else can take a Scald, a Spec Scald at that. You know? So, uh, yeah, let's just go for EQ. Screw it. Uh, we're going to get off a nice chunk of damage. He's going to go for the Scald and knock us out, clearly. And we're going to go into Mean Chow again. And uh, he still has the tank growth alive, but... Oh, it's, it's pretty healthy, isn't it? Because it went for Giga Drain. All right, we're going to go for Knock Off. We're going to get rid of its item. Uh, in the process, which is very nice. So now this U-turn is going to do a, a hefty chunk of damage uh, without actually giving us any recoil other than Life Orb. So we, we are going to end up coming in a little bit uh, higher in health than we were before. He has Protect. So that tells me he probably doesn't have HP Fire. Knock off Giga Drain Protect Sleep Powder is a possibility. I'm just going to go for U-turn here. Going to get off this 30%. Going to take the extra Life Orb hit. We're coming back in at 74, so about the same as we were before. We'll go into a Scavalier. As he goes for a Giga Drain, which is going to do absolutely nothing. He's going to gain back 3%. And I really want to click uh, Pursuit here. But I think that just going for the... Maybe it was a false sense of security, man. I really don't want this thing to go down because it puts in so much work. It's ridiculous. I'm just going to go for Mega Horn. He's going to go for Knock Off. That's not going to do anything. And Mega Horn is going to knock out Tangrowth. Okay, I figured he didn't have HP Fire because of the, uh, the lack of... The lack uh, of, no, the presence of, of Protect, rather, uh, that's that pretty much gave it away. He's going to go into Slurpuff, actually, and I'm just going to go for an Iron Head. He has Flamethrower. Okay, interesting set. Um, Kabutops can set up and win, so I'm going to be playing for that. Uh, I'm going to go into Mean Chow here, and we are just going to go for the Fake Out. Should do a decent amount of damage, because this is a Slurpuff, it's not a Slowbro. And uh, Slowbro is pretty low. Uh, it comes in at 47, so I expect a knockoff to be able to knock it out from there. And he doesn't have a knockoff switching on his team. Like, losing a Scarf, Metagross can't take it, losing his Eviolite, there is nothing that can take it. Chansey's gonna come in on my Fake Out, that's absolutely fine. And we'll be able to go for the High Jump Kick right here. Hopefully he doesn't have Protect on this Chansey, that would really suck. As we are able to knock it out, which is awesome. Uh, Slowbro gets to come back in here, though. Uh, inspect Slowbro, man. What the heck? Who would have thought that that would be my downfall? Um, I'm trying to think of what I need to keep. He's probably um, he's probably Choice Scarfed. So what I'm going to do is actually go out into Thunderous and sack it. Because I don't need it anymore. He's going to go for the Outrage, actually. Okay. Can, can I take this with Kabutops? Kabutops, uh, Offensive versus Kieran Black, um, Choice Scarf, Outrage, 87 to 103, not really a role I want to play with. I got a, a hope for the two turn, I think. I think that's what I have to do, because Scarf Kieran is outspeeding Alakazam. Uh, wait, no, hold on. If he's 285, let's bring up a calculator right here. We do 285 times 1.5. 427.5, so he actually might not outspeed Alakazam at plus, uh, well, at Mega Evolved, basically. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into Mean Chow, actually, and I'm going to click Fake Out. Um, I know it's going to break the, uh, I know it's going to break his, um, his Outrage, but we got the Confusion, actually, so that works out perfectly. Hopefully he can hit himself, that would be amazing. Uh, and if he does, then I think I pretty much just win. So let's just go for high jump kick. He does hit himself in confusion, and we do hit the Kirim with a high jump kick. We are able to knock it out right there. Whew! Mean Shao coming through, just like it does in the GPC, man. Mean Shao's the best. I love this Pokemon now. It's one of my favorite Pokemon all of a sudden. <laughs> it's really, really fun to use. But he's going to go out into Metagross. Um, I don't have a switch into this, so I think I just go for high jump kick. It's my strongest move, because he's probably Mega, seeing as the Slowbro is Specs, it seems. Uh, that way anyway. So let's just go for the high jump kick. He's going to be slower than us on this turn. This is going to do a lot of damage. Nice and 64%. He's going to go for the Zen Headbutt and knock us out. Now, Metagross I don't think can knock us out with anything, right? Metagross, Mega, 
Meteor Mash does 89 max. So we could set up a Sword Stance here. Weak Armor Boost. The problem is if he has Bullet Punch, he's going to out-prioritize us anyway. So let's just go into Alakazam and just fire off a Shadow Ball right here. And basically, my game plan is going to be uh, set up with Kabutops still. I'm going to trace the Tough Claws. We are faster. We're going to knock out this Metagross with a Shadow Ball. And we'll see what uh, what Slurpuff has in store for us. Because I'm sure Slowbro is not coming in here. Especially if it has no HP investment. Slurpuff is going to come in. Um, it's shown to be special. But I'm pretty sure it can't take a Psychic into another Psychic. So I'm just going to go for that. Uh, he actually just drops to one. So... Really awkward team, really weird, a lot of common weaknesses on my opponent's end. Uh, but I guess this is what I get for using everybody from the GOT's teams. I've been dropping on the ladder because of this, I haven't been playing any other games. Literally, this is all I've been doing, so this is the result of that. I thought Metagross was faster than Alakazam. Yeah, you see, this is the, this is my rank right now, guys. Not not to rag on this guy at all, maybe, uh, maybe you just made a mistake, but like, I'm at, what am I at right now? 1647, that's actually not too bad. What, what, why am I complaining? Anyway, this is going to be it, guys, for this episode of GOT Showcase. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Check out Mensa in the description. As always, I'm leaving everybody's links in the description down below for anybody that has a YouTube channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.